Uh, you know, I you know it's football season, but sometimes there's a basketball thing that comes up, and I got to talk about it, especially when it's uh, pertaining to one of my all-time favorite players, which is Shaquille O'Neal. But you know, just because you're one of my favorites, don't mean I ain't gonna crack on you. And you know how I do it. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaq. He said recently he should have had eight or nine rings. And my reaction. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm cracking up. First of all. In what universe? Now. People got to be careful when they say they should have won all these rings. Four is a lot. He went to six finals. And that's a heck of a career. And I don't care what nobody says. I defend Shaq all the time. I don't know what else. Maybe another ring. Maybe the 30,000 points. I don't really know what else he could have really done. He three-peated. He's the last man to three-peat. And I hold that in high regard. He was the only one after Michael Jordan to do that. So for all this love LeBron James gets and Steph Curry gets and Kevin Durant gets and Kawhi Leonard get, Shaquille O'Neal did it. Kobe didn't three-peat either. Shaq did. And they were on the same team, but let's be real. Shaq was the best player. Tim Duncan didn't three-peat either. So I wanted to be known that I hold Shaq, Shaq top five because he did the thing regular season, postseason. Got robbed out of about three or four league MVPs. I will concede that easily. That's a fact. So whatever you hold against him for not winning another ring or getting the 30,000 points because of free throws and health and stuff, he did get robbed of about three or four rings. He should, I mean, uh, league MVPs. He should have had about four or five. I'd have gave Kobe about two or three. Shaq was a better player, and he should have gotten it. It's criminal to me. If they had the West and the East, Shaq would have had about four or five league MVPs. The year they gave it to Iverson, they could have shared it. Shaq could have shared it. Keep it real. Keep it real. You know, he got deprived out of a lot. And he should have been unanimous, too. But that's another story. But anyway. Uh, but no. Uh, to have that kind of success, things have to go a certain way. You know, Bill Russell did that. Understandable. Okay. Bill Russell's style of dominance was different than Shaquille O'Neal's was the defensive end of what he did. But if you're going to dominate like that, you have to have a team and be consistent. You know, he was a puppy when he was Orlando and got to the finals and when they got swept by the Rocks against Hakeem. Hakeem. But he did four out of five with the Lakers and did one in Miami. And I don't know between playing with Penny, Kobe, and D-Wade, how are you going to get eight to nine, eight to nine chips? And how are you going to keep teams in situations? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's harder in this era that we've seen when Jordan won six, Magic won five, Bird won three, Kobe got five, D-Wade got three, LeBron got four. You know, Duncan, you know, you, you see, but it's tough. How are you going to equate to eight to nine? I don't know. Rings ain't just handed out like that and you got to put the work in. But, um, you know, I'm just sitting up here thinking to myself that how and what you're going to do. But he he's hilarious. I mean, first of all, let me ask you something. Shaq, were you better than Bill Russell? Because to say that, that's what that would have had to have been. Now, I will say this. To me, Shaquille O'Neal is comparable to Michael Jordan's dominance in his run because he was the most dominant player after Jordan and you can hate all you want and make faces and stank faces those finals numbers speak for themselves I don't want to hear about oh he ain't playing against nobody because the same argument is said about Jordan and the two guard however where do you get this eight to nine rain thing I, I I don't see it I'd have said maybe five maybe six I don't know about no eight or nine rings I, I don't see it I don't see it because the only Bill Russell did that. And Kareem's only got two more than you. And you got two more than Will. So where do you get this 8-9 uh, tie-in? I don't see it. There are not been a lot of players that have had the succession of it. So I just wanted to know where he coming from with this. You know, because I didn't see it. And as if he's crying about what he's got, he's, he won a bunch. I mean, four rings ain't, I mean, Lord knows I can name you some cats. 
They wish they had one of your rings, let alone four of your rings. So, I mean, I don't under, you know, the insecurity in the nature to say that. Because if you're talking about this era that's out now, the rules, the styles, you know, because usually when cats say stuff like this, they tend to feel like they left something on the table. And perhaps he probably did to his own. However, he was great. And I hold him in high regard. But I just don't see no eight, nine rings. And you weren't going to take it like Bill Russell. You weren't going to do a real Russell. So, hey, he need to clarify. Because sometimes he just be saying stuff to be saying stuff. And I think that he get too much microphone time. Got too many cameras trying to justify. But are you thinking that you were better than Bill Russell? Did you have a squad that was comparable to what Bill Russell had with Sam and Casey Jones and those guys? Did you? Because I want to know. You know, you sat there and had J.J. Reddick on your show this and saying the plumbers and the construction workers and the toilet tidy bowl, man. So tell me, did you have a squad that was comparable to what Bill Russell had? Because that's basically almost what you're saying. And you say you got much respect for Mr. Russell, et cetera, et cetera. But you up here saying you should have had eight, nine, eight to nine rings. Uh, I may have given you five or six. I Like I said before, I could have seen you comparable to Jordan. I do. To Bird, to Magic. I do. Comparable to Kareem. I do for a career because a lot was going on. I don't know about the Bill Russell territory. I don't feel that way. That's a whole nother level. And I don't hear it was only 718. Bill Russell was a dominant force. He never gets his due for how he dominated. Defense and his offense wasn't bad. He was good. But he, he player coach. So make it make sense, Shaq. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like. Hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay real. Stay cool. Stay calm. Stay clean. I'm out one time. Peace.